it seems like yesterday we started the season and uh, to think that you're entering the final week of conference play and, and the regular season is coming uh, down the home stretch here. Uh, but uh, it's been a good year. The kids have grown throughout the year, shown a lot of character as we've uh, navigated this challenge. And uh, we're looking forward to, to wrapping up the regular season Big 12 conference schedule here at home against West Virginia. And a weekend that uh, has obviously a lot of value to the team in terms of what we're trying to accomplish on the field, but also a lot of value to our seniors as they play their final home series. And uh, if you look at the contributions of our seniors and, and where the program's at right now, and uh, we wouldn't be in this position without what these kids have done for us. So uh, definitely looking forward to finishing exams and getting back on the field and, and uh, getting back after it with West Virginia. I think when you look at our seniors um, and you think about uh, the different journey some of them took, you can look at Tim Arakawa and a guy entering his second year here after two years in junior college, uh, a native of Hawaii, uh, took the route to Yavapai College before landing in Stillwater, and we're sure glad that this ended up being his, his final home. Uh, has been a really good player for two years and one of the leaders of our team. Uh, Kyle Bagnell, a, a left-handed pitcher that uh, has been maybe as good an example of a teammate uh, as you could have. Uh, supportive. Uh, his role has grown this year as a senior and some of his best outings have been uh, this year, particularly against Texas in that 18 inning win. Uh, Brian Case, another kid that's a, a two year member of the program, uh, junior college route before getting here. Huge contributions both last year and this year. Uh, Michael Freeman, great story. Uh, an Oklahoma kid who uh, paid his dues, uh, got here, and then this season is having one of the the better starting pitcher seasons that Oklahoma State has had in a long, long time. So uh, just real proud of what Mike's done. Gage Green, uh, start to finish, four years here. His contributions can be seen all over the place, whether it's his versatility, his toughness, uh, the balance that he pr provides in terms of being a great student and a great athlete, uh, and just the quiet toughness and leadership that we've gotten out of Gage every single day. Oklahoma State baseball is definitely better because of him. Uh, Hunter Hagler, one of the, the best attitude guys we have on our team, hasn't seen a ton of playing time, but it's never affected his love for his teammates, uh, his commitment to our team, uh, and his energy on, on a daily basis. Uh, Tyler Nurden, uh, another guy that's been through a lot of ups and downs with a shoulder surgery, bounced back, had a terrific sophomore year, uh, a starter last year as a junior, and uh, a guy that here is in his senior year has had some really good outings, and I think his best outings of the year are still yet to come down the stretch here. Uh, John Perrin, another guy, four-year start-to-finish guy here at Oklahoma State. He'll leave here with a degree. Uh, been our Friday night starter now two years strong. Really proud of John and, and the way he's developed since coming to Oklahoma State. I think he's a, uh, a great story and uh, a much more mature young man and a young man that's going to have a degree and a chance to pitch professionally when he gets done here. So uh, you look back and, and think about how far these guys have come and what they've done for Oklahoma State baseball. and. All you can do is say thank you to them and uh, hope that we can uh, take this particular group of kids in this ball club uh, down the stretch here and do some things that will leave a really good lasting memory on them.